Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about how to apply logit model in Gretel. I have the data set which has been provided in sample data in this uh, Gretel. In this data set, grade is categorical. Like uh, if grade increases, that is denoted by 1 or if grade decreases that is denoted by 0. It means this grade is my dependent variable and uh, it depends on GPA, TUS or that is nothing but test score on economic test, PSI that is nothing but participation in program. Now how to run logit model in this Gretel? For that, I go to model, I click on limited dependent variable, and then I select logit. When I select logit, it gives me three options, binary, ordered, and multinomial. But as this grade is binary, that's why I click on binary. Then, I just take this grade as dependent variable and GPA, TUS and PSI are my independent variables. So I selected it and lead it into regressors. Then without doing any kind of change, I simply go to click on OK. The moment I click on OK, I find the outcome of logit model. I have already discussed about the concept of logit and probit model in my separate video. So I request you all to go through that introduction part of logit and probit before going to this logit model in Greta. Here, this is coefficient then this is a standard error finally this is j value and this is slope as p value is not given here so simply we can understand that either that is significant or not and that significance can be understood with the help of this j value so when the j value is higher than uh, you can say 1.96 it means that is significant so here gpa and psi are significant as this j calculated value is greater than 1.96 now the question is if i talk about uh, coefficient as you know that uh, when your dependent variable is categorized or you can say binomial in this case, we find the probability of happening. So this coefficient cannot be inferred like the simple linear model or linear regression. So how to interpret it? Basically, this coefficient would be interpreted as log odd. So if I say 2.37, it means that is nothing but log odd. If I say 2.82, that is nothing but 2.82 log odd, right? So, uh, if I know the exact percentage of uh, this uh, grade increases or decreases, then I simply go to Excel and I write like uh, equal to and then exponential and then I select the coefficient like I selected this I copied it and simply go to Excel and then paste it and then enter the moment I found I found this much right so this value would be our percentage so exact probability would be determined on the basis of this so rather than talking about uh, simple like a simple coefficient then talking about uh, my 
predicted model so accuracy is uh, 81.2 percent which is uh, very uh, good in this aspect and then this predicted value is all about uh, related with my confusion matrix so that is all about how to apply this uh, logit model in Gretel. even we can do or we can run with the help of command also so how to run command with the help of uh, this Gretel. So go to this Gretel console and then I find this icon and simply I write here logit constant and then you can say uh, rather writing here logit then my dependent variable that is grade then I write constant and all the independent variables like GPA, TUCE, PSI and then enter. So that is through command in Gretel and if you compare the result of uh, Gretel console and uh, this uh, simple like uh, click to button option you find both result are similar. So that is all about Gretel. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.